my friends! Welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing Gaia Gold. Um, these are the ones we will be testing. I probably don't have all of them. There's a lot of offshoots that are like uh, this virtual on that's tricky to get. I'm, there might be a few in there. One's been discontinued a long time. But these are pretty easy to get as I recently got all these in stock um, from America. So these... Um, you shouldn't have a problem getting. And uh, we got the basic line, we have the EX, Nazca, and we're going to do a primer, their surfacer, because it's gold. So we will be testing all of those. Um, but before I get started, a couple of things I do want to mention um, a viewer and a subscriber of mine, Frank, custom made this holder for my Swallowtail, my Barbatos Rex. Isn't this awesome? And um, the limited editions of my uh, my original holder have, of course, sold out. There was 300 of them. Now they have the basic one without my name on it. But if you want something a little different and still has my name, um, Frank will be selling these as well as for the GHAC 98. Check this out. The 68. The 39, one that says Swallowtail and not my name, shame on you if you want this, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, this just says the Swallowtail in gallery, All right, how's that? Hey Frank, how about Swallowtail on one side, Barbatos Rex on the other? There's a suggestion. And the two new Mobius that just came out, the 02 and the 03. So isn't that awesome? He's going, I'm going to put his email in the description below. And um, the final price will be twenty-three fifty each. That includes shipping. And then at that price point, you can take two bucks off for each additional airbrush holder uh, added to the same order. How's that? So he'll go over that with you, and he'll, I think uh, you'll tell him what you want, which uh, airbrush you have, and uh, be t be if you have my swallowtail, tell me if you want my name on it or if you want it to just say swallowtail. And why don't you request it says my name on the other side. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding, Frank. More work for you. Anyway, there, uh, there you go. Uh, uh, like I said, I will put a link below. I'm going to put uh, custom airbrush holders, and I'll have his email. And you're going to tell you guys can go back and forth from there. You can write to him and tell him uh, which ones you want. And then I think he'll send you an invoice from there. I, I guess he'll work it through PayPal. And uh, he's located in the U.S., so keep it in the U.S., guys. All right? I am going to get these out of the way. One second, guys. Well, I'm not getting this one out of the way because we're using that one for the test. There we go. I'm just putting these right below me on a little desk. There we go. Okay, the other thing I'm going to mention before we get started, my buddy at Typhoon uh, Paint Racks and uh, Paint Mixers. Oh, boy, oh. Boy, what does this thing weigh? 15 pounds. Um, Typhoon, I figured I'd show you this too. Because uh, uh, we use that too. Whoa, we're going to shake the whole desk off. I shake these off. I have this thing on its own little little mount below the, my desk. And I just, every time I go to paint, I just reach below. Hold it here for 30 seconds and all my paints are mixed. Uh, these are industrial strength. These are in the $100 range. But boy, let me tell you something. You're getting all steel construction this is cast iron right here this outer shell very impressive but I'm showing you this for one reason because oh gosh almighty those are heavy Robert oh, I say Robert that's his name Robert Kennedy at Typhoon Racks these just came in all right now these were for pro acryl all right these are for the pro acryl and that's a straight rack, and we have a curved rack. Check this out. Here's the other one. Ah, see that? Pro Acryl. But, get this, it holds. One second, guys. It holds the Gaia paints. My Pro Acryl are gone. I donated them to a uh, builder's club here in my state. But I am finally happy to know you should do this, Robert. Label them. 
Gaia. It holds the Gaia paints. Look at this. All right. This is what they look like assembled. Yes. These are all my uh, Mr. Paints. You can see them going all the way down. And yes, they hold. These are a little large, so the Gaia was loose in them, but not anymore. We're coming back here, guys. This is my new uh, my new camera, by the way. So yeah, there it is. It holds, you know, not these giant jars, but it holds the standard Gaia paints perfectly. Look at that. So it comes in curved, and it comes in a straight rack, just like uh, I just showed you. And the curved ones are beautiful for a corner. Saves a lot of space. You know, I use both. Obviously, I have every paint in the world over here. <laughs> Let me get that, put them down. So there you go. Pro Acryl will hold the Gaia Paints. Also, I will put a link below. Those are at uh, Typhoon Painting. He makes that paint mixer and those racks. Thank you, Robert, for sending those. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this, Robert, why don't you uh, why don't you make them that say Gaia on the side? It's the same size, uh, same size hole that they'll fit in. And uh, if you need me, I'll send you a jar. Of Gaia, so you can use it as a guide, but it's the same size, you know. Anyway, on with the gold test. In this test, we will be testing number 10, bright gold, 122, star bright gold, 126, star bright champagne gold, 132, pearl gold. You should show the bottoms, huh? How different all of these are. Look at that. All right, number 41. Now, this is from the Virtual On series, Virtual On, old video game from Sega. And this is a beautiful looking gold. This is Victory Gold. This is their uh, EX line, large jars they come in, about 14, 15 bucks, but uh, you get a lot of paint here. This is their Gaia high quality, large capacity EX08, EX Gold. We'll see if it's any different from gold. This is the Nazca series. This is Calm Gold. That looks different also. And the Surfacer. This is their primer. Of course, it's, uh, let's see, is it gold? Yep. Surfacer Evo Gold. All right. On camera, I'm going to spray just two. So what I'll do is, I figured I'd separate these two because I want to see the primer going on. We're going to do the primer. And we'll do this NASCAR, which is, you know, same as the lineup. I'll spray all these off camera so we can see them. Now, I'm going to show you one thing, and I'm going to show you what we're going to spray them on. Um, the caps on the old Gaia look like this, and the new Gaia have the name. Where is it? Gaia Notes, right there. And the difference is huge. The old one has that double cap that a lot of the Taiwan and Japanese companies seem to be using now. Uh, I can't stand this. Uh, Jump Wind has it perfect. It's it's a square bottle, obviously, but it's the uh, it's got a little piece where you can hook your finger in and take it out. Um, that's about as good as they get. I'm still not crazy about them. The new ones, if you get, I, obviously I I ordered a whole bunch of guy and they all came in like this. So their new batch is the new cap and nothing. It's got the cap that's just like. I'm reaching over here for a Mister, so you guys can see Mister. See it. It's got that same indent on the lid, which is awesome. So there you go. Now they've done away with that plastic, and it's good for them, too. I guess they eliminated, you know, something they don't have to produce for the line. Uh, in the background, you're going to see all of the Gaia thinners. Brush Master, Metallic Master, Standard Thinner, NASCAR Pro. I was told to use NASCAR Pro with NASCAR primers, which I have. And I haven't tested that yet. That's coming up. Standard color. Metallic Master is for metallics. It's like Rapid Thinner where it, supposedly it dries super fast and it has more of a sheen. Less of a metallic look to it. And this is Brush Master. This is their leveling thinner. You'll see it right here if you can see it. Uh, thinner for slow drying. See it? This is their leveling thinner. So without going crazy because I am going to have a thinner test with Gaia. I'm going to be testing their Metallic Rapid Thinner with their metallics to see the difference. That's a test that's coming up. So I just want to know what all these golds look like against each other. So for that, we're going to just use their standard lacquer thinner for every one of them, okay? And 
you can use Mr. Color Leveling Thinner or Mr. Color Thinner. I'll grab those. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, guys, I'm in the background here. These will work perfectly, too. Absolutely perfect. As a matter of fact, I've been using these for two years before I even was able to get these back in stock. And a lot of you guys online are saying you can't get leveling thinner. I went, there's two hobby shops in my state, and they're both about this big. And um, they had them. Look, $12.79. So my guy had them, and he had this one also, eleven oh nine. So I just picked these up the other day, and he had a case of them. I usually buy this by the case. I use it that much. But these will work also for Gaia. All right, so for this test, we're going to be using my Barbatos Rex Swallowtail Airbrush. We're going to go with the 0.5 and the fan cap. And um, it don't take much for this paint to cover through past experience. An excellent, top-of-the-line, beautiful paint. Wonderful paint line. If they were really easy to get, they would be the go-to paint. But because it's such a pain sometimes to get, uh, I don't recommend them too often. But if you can get them anywhere, I would always recommend these right alongside of Mr. Color, which is also highly recommended because of their price, how they perform, and how easy they are to get. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to paint these two, and we're going to paint everything on flat black primer. This is Mr. Surfacer Black 1500. I only use this because I had a bunch of spoons already prepped, ready to go. So we're going to put everyone over the same color and just compare them straight up. That's what this test is going to be. And for the primer, we're going to put the primer also on a spoon, but we're going to see if a primer will cover these different plastics and colors. See if it will cover that because it is, in fact, the surface of a primer. And, um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Let's open this up. Come on, little cups. These cups are the best. These are the ones that don't have the little nubs in the bottom, so they're easy to spin your stick and nothing gets caught. Um, I'll put a link below for these. These are awesome. And my paint stirrers, too. I cut them in half. These coffee stirrers, I just take my knife, I mean, my little nipper, and cut them in half. So we get a pack of 1,000. I end up with 2,000. I pre stared this before in the paint mixer that I showed you. And this is not going to need much. Even that's probably too much, you know. So we'll call that it. Always wipe the edges of the jars. Get that paint off the edge and come back. Oops, we're going flying. All right, keep them socked on. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go 50-50 or one-to-one -one with the thinner. That's the minimum. You could probably go three pots paint. You know, seven parts thinner. Trust me. Um, this lacquer thinner goes a long... I mean, the paint goes a long way in its mixing ratios. All right? I'm going to have to do the primer also, but I'm going to do the same mix with the primer. All right, let's get this mixed up. You want to get all of the pigment off the bottom, let it sit for a little bit, and then come back and stir it up again. And you should be ready to go. This is the consistency we're looking for. A skim milk, if you can drag... The cup up the, the cup. The stick up the side with some paint. As it drags itself down, it leaves behind some of the pigment. See it? And that, uh, that means you're good to go. Good looking color right there. All right, what is that one called? Calm Gold. Calm Down. What a weird name for gold. All right, I'll do the same with the primer. Let's take a peek at that quick, quick. Now it looks like the paint. Pretty thin for primer. I'm not going to thin this too much. Let's take a look at this now before we uh, head over to the booth. This looks a little different from other primers. Let's see. I don't know if I should... Yeah, it's probably a little... Yeah, it's still thick. It's still a little thick for... Uh... Yeah, for putting through the brush. My .7 on the Swallowtail will handle this easily if you don't want to thin it. But uh, I would thin this a little bit. And because it's a primer, we're going to go... Yeah, it's pretty thick. It's just like the paint. I'd go one to one with this too, guys. I'd go one to one, just like that. All right. Um, let me grab this. We'll start with the Nazca, and uh, we'll head over to the booth. And after we test these two, all the rest are already done behind me drying. We'll show them all at the end. We'll see you at my Pace spray booth, which is this away. 
here we are at the booth. Let's go, guys. I got my flat, well, primer spoon. We'll go with the NASCAR Calm Gold first. Just poured it into the cup. Fan cap is set. A little dust on this thing. Let's get some. Let me wipe this off. Here we go. And here we go. Wow, it goes on really nice. Okay, I'm gonna blow dry this a little bit, flash it off. That's uh, that's just air. That's why I'm showing you the no paint coming out of my arm. That's about it. This stuff will not run. It's really uh, really the perfect paint. A good lacquer. All right, that's it. Beautiful, nice and even. We'll let this dry. Let me clean out the brush. And uh, I'm going to show you something as far as cleaning out the brush goes. I got a few people writing to me on a question on uh, back flushing. I'll show you that right now. All right, we're out of paint. Here's what we're going to do. This is a lacquer thinner. Let me get uh, one of my Q-tips. All right, what you're going to do there, this airbrush cleans itself really, really well. I like to blow in the thinner, you know, into where the needle is, pump it in and out like this, see it, I'm going in and out, don't go too far so it doesn't splash out, and then take this, I keep a drawer over here, with the old thinner, blow that through, now we're going to do it again, look how much cleaner it is already, and now what you want to do is back flush it, and somebody was asking me, they were having a little bit of trouble with back flush, and they couldn't get their finger in with the... Uh, the fan cap and you're poking your finger just take a q-tip cotton swab and you're gonna back in there it is see it the little cotton swab will block the air from coming out the front you're gonna back flush it out look at it's so clean already look at that you put this in my little cup behind me here blow it once through you are clean you can actually if you want take the same q-tip and rub it in here and you clean off the ends of the fan cap also. Do this in the booth, you get it right through here. And that's it, we are ready to go for the next color. It is spotless. Uh, I did all my colors doing this. Cleaned it out, but like two minutes between cleanings. Absolutely flawless. At the end, I'll pull the needle out, it's spotless. It just seems to clean itself really, really well. But that's all you have to do. And for that, we don't have to go ahead and pause the camera. I, uh, I have it right here, the surfacer. I thinned it up just like the other paint. There's a lot more of this because we're going to do a lot bigger surfaces here than uh, the spoon. Um, let's start with the spoon. The spoon is beat up. What happened to that one? That's an old one. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, it seems it goes on quite different from the other one. It's a little more heavy looks good for a gold probably pass it as a paint so there we go we are ready to go let's see how it covers these other pieces of plastic oh you know what it covers really good probably a good candy base too look at that the airbrush seems to really uh, really like this Let that sit for a second. Oh, I'm at, let me see guys, 20 PSI. I'm looking down at the compressor, it's at my feet. We're at 20 PSI. Now ah, let's see if it can cover red. You should have a little trouble with it. Oh, no, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, you're always gonna get the red highlights. That's how all the paint is. As far as uh, spraying anything over red, let's let that dry a little bit. It atomizes the air really well, so I can kind of get in close here. Wow, it, it came out beautiful. Wow. I think the rudder is done here. Is this the rudder? One of my plain kits. Uh, let's go ahead and do the red. One more time. I 
I think this is sandable too for a good primer. You want to be able to sand it. And that's it. All right. Now I'm going to clean out the brush like I did before. All the other colors are done. So let's get back to the bench. We'll compare and see how all these golds look against one another. All right. Back at the bench, we got the results. Fantastic. You can see how different all of these really are. And um, as I said, with testing the gold, I didn't test stuff like Starbright Brass. You know, they have a bunch of other ones uh, that didn't say gold. You, you, you'd put them in the gold category, you would see the cap. But uh, Brass, I didn't want to include, or Coppers, any of those. So these are the golds that I have. This is their standard 10 bright gold. There it is. Absolute beautiful Right on par with one of my favorites, which is Mr. Colors Gold. And uh, it's awesome. Look at that. Next we have 122. Star Bright Gold. A completely different look altogether. Yet you can call both of them gold. Look at that. That is a beautiful color. Alright, 126, which is Star Bright Champagne Gold. Very light, almost silver, but still I can see the gold tones in there, and it's, as I said, even from regular gold, quite different, quite awesome. Look at that. All right, pearl gold. Another one that's dramatically different. Check this out. You can see the pearl in it. This is one that I will be testing with the uh, Metallic Master Thinner in a later video. And I don't even have to hold them up. You can see how different that is. Now, this looks similar to this bright gold. So let's go ahead and see. This is from the Virtual On series, number 41, Victory Gold. All right, here comes a comparison to a star bright gold. No, it's a little different. Yeah, a little deeper in tone. Not dramatic, though. You don't have to go nuts. Like, if one or the other is not in stock, you'll be fine. But this certainly has a shinier borderline chromish look to it this is a more dense color now I didn't do anything over multiple primers but I did this one earlier on a gray spoon because it was sitting there at the booth so this is it over black this is over the gray it dulls it right out because the gray primer was dull so uh, big difference but again that's another video where I test all the primers all the colors I just wanted to see how these primarily look over black, which is a standard base for gold. Here we go. The EX X Gold, number 8. Now we're wondering, is this any better than number 10, their regular gold? And at first glance, not. But in person, this has a more, sheen, more of a smoother sheen to it. It's hard to see on camera. You can kind of see it there. You can kind of see more metallic here, not so much in this one. So imagine with the metallic master using this, it uh, might remove any flake at all. I'm hoping anyway, but it's you don't have to go crazy if you can't get one or the other. But uh, they are a little bit different. Everything's a little bit different. But you can see it up front here. How you can see much of the flakes in that one and not as much as in EX. Let's go to Nazca Calm Gold. A absolute another beautiful color. And it looks like it would compare to one of these, but I'm guessing it doesn't. No, it's quite different. Nice highlights as far as shadowing goes. It's way different from this. Oh yeah. And the EX. It's closer to that. Looks great though with a black base. It has a beautiful shadowing effect to it. And let's end up here on the surfacer. And it did cover really well. It's flat like a surfacer, but a very smooth one. Not quite 1500, I'd say 1000. You can compare it to 1000 surfacer from uh, Mr. Color. But it covered that gray beautifully with that fan cap, it went right on. It covered the white. As if it's a gold paint. I guess if you want a durable paint in gold, um, this being a primer, this can be sanded. Um, yeah. And now it's not shiny. Well, these are all semi-gloss. It has no shine at all to it. But 
I'll just see how it covered the red. Ready? That's what it was. So, quite impressive. Very impressive that it could handle covering this up. A very nice primer. It lays itself and levels out beautifully. All the gaps didn't get filled in. Put a nice panel line in there. Excellent. Very good primer. And uh, there you go. That is my test of every gold I have from Gaia Notes. And I like them all. They practically spray themselves. They dry within five minutes. And um, they don't run. They're just perfect. They just come out perfect. A, a, a wonderful lineup of paints. Um, I'll put links below where I got them. I got them at uh, Gundam Pros and I got them at uh, Robot Kai. That's where I got all my Gaia paints from. All right. That is the test for the day. Oh, boy. Don't forget about these hairbrush holders. Put this aside. I'll put a link below uh, to Frank. You tell him if you want one, what you want. If you want more than one, make sure you list it. And I, he'll send you back an invoice. You guys can go back and forth from there. And um, he'll get it out to you. And don't forget about the paint rack that is now available for Gaia. It's under the name of Pro Acryl. But I'm going to see if Robert can go ahead and maybe etch uh, Gaia into that same rack. Um, so, uh, actually, I don't see the name on the side. <laughs> Mine are all pushed together, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, it's a dual-purpose size. It's the same size as these. So if you want a rack for these, go to Robert. I'll put the rack and uh, paint mixer link below. It's Typhoon Paints. And uh, you'll see that below, too. Anyway, man, thank you for watching the video. Like it. It helps a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like anything to do with the hobby, please subscribe because uh, we do multiple videos a week and uh, this is what we do. We test anything to do with the hobby and um, plastic building, model building, resin, 3D models, miniatures, um, anything like that. We'll do tools, paints, everything. So there you go. And airbrushes. And uh, there you go. I'll put a link below to my airbrush. The, second, the third batch is in and that's selling quite fast actually. It's going to be a fourth batch next week. And, uh, oh, also back in stock, my uh, black and blue. It's sold out, but more will be in, I believe, in the next day or two. So this will be back in stock very soon. Uh, quite a great success. Three cases have sold already. More coming to this lineup. Might even be within the week. We're going to have some reds, greens. Uh, really exciting. So that's coming up very soon, too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend. Um, like I said, please subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at the 100,000 mark, which is a dream come true for me. Couldn't do it without you guys. So you guys are the best. God bless you all. If you want to join my Patreon, I will also have a link below to that too. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. As I said, God bless. See you in the next video.